Welcome back to another episode of Slain News, the show where we gather up news stories from different sources in the community to present to you. As always, be sure to visit the Celine Post, Celine Sun Times, and MLive to follow up on everything we talk about today. I'm Chase Stanton, and this is the news you need to know. I want to start the show today by acknowledging a tragedy that many have heard about around Celine. On December 9th, Celine High School junior Ryan Estrada was found unresponsive in the boys' locker room before wrestling practice. School emergency response teams reacted quickly and Ryan was rushed to U of M Hospital, however he passed away that evening. Ryan will be remembered for his time on the wrestling team and as a member of the Celine football team, as well as his humor, his big smile, and his outgoing personality. Our hearts go out to Ryan's friends and family during this time, and we'd just like to take a moment of silence to remember Ryan. At a recent city council meeting, a 10-year-old Celine resident, Nora McGillicuddy, quite eloquently presented her proposal for a project around Celine. The project is called Green Light a Vet. The idea is simple. To show support and appreciation for veterans, citizens simply install a green light bulb somewhere visible outside their house, such as their front porch. The movement is growing around the country, and Nora would like to see it pick up some steam right here in Celine. As a first step, she presented each member of city council with a bulb of their own. You can read more about Nora's mission at an article at the Celine Sun Times, or visit the city's Vimeo page to watch the excellent job she did at the meeting. She's also begun a website to promote Greenlight a Vet. It's celinegogreen.weebly.com, so be sure to check that out as well. Some older Celine students are also cooking up a storm here at the high school. I'm sorry, I couldn't avoid the pun. The culinary program here at Celine, which is part of the South and West Washtenaw Consortium, was recently named one of the 2017 Elite 50 by the National Center for Hospitality Studies. Over 350 schools apply each year and the selection process is very thorough. The Celine Post has a great write-up on the award, including links to the awards themselves, so congratulations students on another huge achievement. However, teens and young adults do make some mistakes as well, including texting and driving. MLive recently put up an article describing a survey performed with 400 young adults in Michigan. Of those 20 to 30 year olds surveyed, more than 26 admitted they text while driving. The article goes into further detail breaking down different scenarios and the responses they received, as well as quotes from local law enforcement and the company that was contracted to perform the survey. It really is simultaneously fascinating and pretty scary. Be sure to check it out and please be safe on the road. A text and an email really can wait. We'll continue on talking about Celine students with some congratulations going out to both the boys and the girls basketball teams. Both teams have been on a winning streak lately with victories over Ann Arbor and, Ply and Plymouth respectively. In fact, we're putting on a link for the Celine Post, the Celine Sun Times, and MLive below because all three have been covering the games, so I guess they're doing something right. Be sure to read all the articles to stay up to date on the teams. The Celine Post even has some video clips with team members after the games, which, come to think of it, we should be doing that ourselves. Jumping back to City Council, at the same meeting where Nora McGillicuddy presented her Greenlight a Vet project, Several citizens came forward to discuss concerns over traffic on Henry Street. During the Main Street construction, Henry was used as a pass-through to divert traffic. This led to some motorists speeding and driving erratically down the road. Speakers expressed dismay with continued traffic down the road and dangers for young children living on the street. The Celine Sun Times and the Celine Post both have full write-ups on the discussion, and you can watch the video at the Vimeo page we provided before. We'll end our news segment today giving a shout out to a video that has done a heck of a lot better than anything we've produced lately. Many people around the community know Amanda Bell, a local resident and avid vlogger. 
Well, Amanda recently went viral with a video where she pokes fun at her experience shopping at Kohl's. MLive has a write-up on the whole thing as well as a link to the video itself, which has now been viewed over 2 million times. So many times that Kohl's themselves have responded to Amanda. We're really excited to kind of see how that pans out. As always, thank you for watching Celine News and tuning in to us here at SCTN. Be sure to check us out at sctn.org where you can find links to our Vimeo page, Facebook, and Twitter. And of course, have a happy new year, Celine.